you mind if I... That is, uh, do you mind terribly if I sit down? Thanks. On uh, both counts. Both counts? Yeah, you know, for letting me sit and making me look good because I'm sitting next to the best looking woman in the place. Wow. That must be good. You seem really interested in it. What is it? A book. <laughs> yeah, I meant what is the name of the book. Is that what you meant? I'm sorry, I missed it. So? What's it called? I'm a bit of a bibliophile myself. Might want to catch it when I'm not busy. How to lie with statistics? Wow. Sounds brainy. For class? For work? It's a leisure read. Something to do when I'm alone and there is no one interesting to talk to. Yeah? Because I wouldn't have pictured a woman who's as attractive as you locked up in a class or doing statistics. That's not saying beautiful women don't do these things. It's just for the most part, they only do in the movies. In real life, a woman who looks like you would be a model or an actress. Am I right? Waitress. There, you see? Same thing. Admit it. You've acted before. You get me. I have acted before. Television? Yes, yeah, several times. I've done a few shows and some commercials. That must be why you <laughs> seem so familiar. Yes, that must be why I seem so familiar. Mm -hmm. Peter. Peter. Yeah, and you are? Elise. It's really nice meeting you, Elise. I really hope you don't think I'm being too forward in gushing out the compliments. You're very stunning, though. I know I'm being forward in saying that again. But in my line of work, we learn subtly is poison. Be direct. That's what I live by. That's a good thing to live by. Be direct and honest. Honest is important too, don't you think? Absolutely. Call it as you see it. Then the flattery was absolutely true. Scouts are. Good to know. And exactly what line of business are you in, if you don't mind me asking? Advertising. I'm an executive at a firm. Sorry if that's bragging, but you gave me the opportunity. Make it my fault, doesn't it? So, if you're an executive, why are you here? Shouldn't you be at a big meeting? I decided it was a beautiful day, and I'd do something different. Be among the unwashed masses. <sighs> no. This isn't a class thing, is it? No, not even a little. I promise. Good. Because I was about to reach into my pocket, get out of my cell, and dial the number of a limo service to take us anywhere you want. My tree. Where would you want to go? Your choice. Wow, you walk fast. Spontaneous. It's who I am. Plus, how often do you get to sit next to a celebrity you recognize? This is once in a lifetime for me. They're about to pick up. Where? And I won't take no for an answer, by the way. Do you know a place called Mistral? It's very trendy. Do I? I love that place. I never need reservations. I'm really familiar to you. You aren't just flattering me. Absolutely. I know I've seen you. You know, this is strange. When you got here, I knew I had seen you before, too. As you got closer, I was certain of it. No kidding. Yes, but it was something different. Something missing. Uh-huh. Yes. I know what it is. It's your wedding ring. That's what is missing. Most of the time you come to Mistral, you are wearing it. You usually have your wife with you too. That's not to say that your wife and your ring are always with you. For some reason, on the rare occasion, you come to the restaurant with another woman. You don't have your ring on. That's a strange coincidence, don't you think? I should ask her. She seems like the kind of woman who appreciates coincidences. This is my cute lady. Yes, it would be. Goodbye, Peter. Are you sure?